I ended up voting against the omnibus appropriations bill or spending bill because it didn't address DACA. DACA is the program that President... Uh, it was a friendly crowd at Congressman Frank Pallone's constituent town hall in Long Branch, sparsely attended but with impassioned voters hoping to get the ear of a ranking Washington Democrat. How much are you willing to, do you feel you may need to compromise in order to get adequate protection for the Dreamers and how much are you willing to compromise in order to get protection for the Dreamers? I'm an advocate for comprehensive immigration reform that would let anybody who's here, not just kids, not just Dreamers, but anybody who's been here for a period of time, we usually use five years, who hasn't gotten in trouble with the law, has learned English, has paid their taxes, uh, to have a pathway to citizenship. Health care was on the mind of many in this audience, particularly the fate of the ACA, for better or worse. You call them junk plans. What is wrong with being able to choose the coverage that you want? Why can't I have catastrophic coverage? And because if you do that, right, then you are not going to be paying for the other things, and therefore the insurance pool will include, won't include you, and everybody else is going to have to pay more, including but, the government. But, but that's the whole point of insurance, that you get to pick what... No, that's the whole the, point. This the I, opposite. We, While many of the congressional town halls have become infamous for raucous crowds and heated exchanges, Pallone kept the mood tempered, soothing critics. It could prove a good litmus test for the 2018 midterms. Democrats have a slim voter edge in Monmouth County, yet Christie won here twice, and President Trump took Monmouth by a nearly 10-point margin. I think liberal and conservatives have completely different ideals. I think the way I want to live my life is completely different from the way you want to live your life and some of the people here want to live their lives. Is there any way that we can both live our lives? I know the liberal mentality usually is government is the answer and we don't believe that. I think that there is a middle road and I, I try to strive for it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, a lot of times I will articulate, as I have tonight, a liberal position, but that doesn't mean that we're don't try to come together to accomplish something, right? What in particular for you are the most important issues right now? I think gun control and property taxes because I have my own home. In the wake of the March for Our Lives protests, many had concerns about action and inaction surrounding gun reform. Gun issue is a biggie. I mean, I'm a lifelong educator. Um, I've worked in schools 40 plus years and uh, you know, the idea of teachers being armed is ludicrous. Bringing back the assault weapons ban, which we had until 1994 when I was in Congress, and then the third would be a limitation on the number of clips, the rounds of ammunition. These town halls have become an effective means for Congress members to communicate with constituents, though one voter said to me tonight the topic seemed boilerplate, though still an improvement over the gridlock in Washington. In Long Branch, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.